So the next thing that we need to do with this pig is to find some of the blood vessels. Most of the blood vessels that are attached to the heart you can probably already find. So we found the pulmonary trunk, which again is right between the auricles. And behind that, you have the aorta. And behind that, you have the superior vena cava. Um, below the heart, we can see the inferior vena cava pretty easily. As long as you've removed the majority of the pericardium, you'll be able to see that no problem. Um, but we are interested in the blood vessels that go out to the arm and up to the head. I'm going to do my best to keep the stuff that's right in this area intact because we'll be studying that in the next few weeks. Um, but what I need to do is to see if I can get, um, see if I can see any of these nice blood vessels that are going out to the arm and up to the head. So I like to use this mall probe. I know that the mall probe that you have is not, um, it's not blunt. Um, and so you have to be really careful. So here is your mall probe. Um, and you can still do some picking, but um, the nice thing about this tool is that it doesn't tend to tear into tissue unless you want it to. It's a, it's a much gentler tool. Um, I would honestly, if I were you, I don't know, I would use this edge of the forceps um, to try to dig through, okay? Um, and it just takes time and you can kind of see like there's, the, here's pink and here's blue. So I'm just gonna try to get the connective tissue between those um, separated and you're gonna end up tearing through some vessels and that's okay. So remember the pink is, um, and the pink and blue is just latex um, and it's injected so that you can see where the blood vessels go. Um, and so it takes some time and like right in this area, you might have to take your scissors um, and cut some more bone out. Again, trying to keep this stuff up here intact, but it is okay if you need to remove some ribs. Um, and so I'm just going to work at this a little bit and see, um, if I, what I can, what I can get to. Okay. There's another bone. So I'm just going to keep cutting it away. And I always try to keep it to, um, you know, the, the fewer cuts you do, the less likely you are to cut too much. Um, you know, if you cut something off, you can't put it back together. I mean, fortunately this pig is all done with its parts, so it's okay. But, um, you know, uh, taking small bits is definitely the way to go. All right, so, and you can also, you see me using the scissors like this to kind of separate things. So there's a, a bunch of different tools that you can use. Um, the mall probe that I have is really my preferred tool, but you can see that you can still do it even if you don't have that tool, okay? So I'm gonna keep working over here, I'm just kind of trying to clean up this area as much as possible. There's still some stuff to remove on this side. Let's see if we can see over here. Just gonna keep cleaning it up. Um, and so I'm seeing this blue vessel right here. So that's kind of exciting. Um, and this right here is a muscle. So I'm actually, I'm just gonna remove that muscle right now. That wasn't necessarily my plan, but it happened and it's okay. So I am making slow <laughs> but steady progress. Um, and sometimes you might wanna remove more of the rib cage. Um, and so I'm going to uh, cut this at an angle. Um, this will allow me to really see on the inside. Um, put it back so you can see it nicely. Okay. 
Um, and this takes a little bit of time, so I'm actually going to shut the camera off for a little bit, but this is all I'm going to be doing. I'm just kind of looking at it, finding the connective tissue, kind of separating um, the vessels from the connective tissue. Um, so I'll be back. It will be just like Julia Child. Uh, you know, after this commercial break, I'll come back and my casserole will be perfectly done right coming out of the oven. So I'm returning from my commercial break and my pig is amazingly clean now. Um, and I have to confess, I've been kind of disparaging of this probe, but it was actually really useful. So I used my mall probe to remove the big stuff, but once I got down to separating, say the internal jugular from the carotid, it was much easier to do with this little pointy end. So every tool has its purpose. So I'm going to go over how you can kind of identify these different vessels. So we always start from the heart with its two auricles and the pulmonary trunk. Behind the pulmonary trunk is the aorta and behind the aorta is the superior vena cava. Okay. Um, we can't really see the branches of the aorta because it's kind of covered with some blue latex, but I can see the subclavian artery going out towards the arm here and it going out towards the arm over here. I can also see the common carotid coming up on that side and it's less pink on this side, but I can see the common carotid going up over here. Okay. So as far as arteries go, I would like you to be able to identify the subclavian and the common carotid and the aorta and the pulmonary trunk. Okay. Um, and then we'll go to the veins. So the veins, again, you can look under the heart and here's that inferior vena cava. We have the superior vena cava right here, and we have it branching into the right and left brachiocephalic veins. And then we have our internal jugular and our external jugular and our subclavian vein. Okay, so that's going from just adjacent to the larynx and the trachea. So from medial moving out so internal jugular external jugular subclavian on the other side internal jugular external jugular subclavian and you'll notice that my subclavian um, veins do not have the blue latex and sometimes that happens so if i were to ask you about this subclavian vein i would use a blue pointer or um, give you some sort of indicator that I'm pointing to the blue and not the pink subclavian artery. Okay. If you're curious about these white stringy things, these are nerves. Okay. And if you're really, really lucky, right at the junction with the brachiocephalic vein, I'm sorry, so like where the brachiocephalic vein and the subclavian vein and the jugulars meet, that is where the thoracic um, vessels are going to be draining, I'm sorry, that's where the lymphatic vessels are going to be draining lymph um, into the venous system to go back to the heart. Um, and so those vessels look like brown kind of nubby yarn. Um, I did not see any in my exploration today, um, but sometimes you see it, um, you know, as you go on dissecting um, and you're going to be learning about the lymphatic system soon. And so you'll kind of have a better idea of what to look at. Right now, I do not want you um, taking out the abdominal organs so you can find the abdominal aorta. We'll work on that later. So I'm looking for these blood vessels on the pig. Um, pulmonary trunk, aorta, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, the internal and external jugular, the common carotid, and the subclavian arteries and veins. Okay, let me know if you have any questions, just post to the community forum. 
I hope your pig is doing as well as mine is. Mine's starting to lose a little liver, but um, other than that, it's still in pretty good shape. All right, I'll see you in lab this week. Take care.